Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're here in Brownwood, Texas, the Martin and Francis Linus Railroad Museum, courtesy of our friend. Hey, Jamie, roll my intro. <laughs> Well guys, a little backstory first and a little bit of a disclosure. I know nothing about trains. I have a good friend, Jamie Macon. She lives in Northeast Pennsylvania. I believe they're called uh, rail fans, people who absolutely love trains and uh, Jamie's very knowledgeable and uh, some of her videos are about trains. I uh, highly recommend that channel to you, Jamie Macon. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, I know nothing about trains, but I do have several brochures that I can read and kind of make it sound like I halfway know what I'm talking about. If you guys know about trains, turn the volume down, enjoy the video, put on some good train music. Uh, a few days ago, uh, again on Jamie's recommendation, um, I went to the uh, Runaway Train Cafe. Uh, that's here in uh, Brownwood as well. If you're coming to the museum you should go over there and eat uh it's actually a uh, train car and the food and the staff are awesome uh they're on facebook and uh you can uh look them up on the magical interwebs first a horrible horrible joke do you know why engineers always work out that's right so they have a nice caboose yep that's the kind of stuff you're going to get on this channel folks uh, the, uh, so this is the Martin and Francis Linus Railroad Museum. It is open Tuesday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. There are several museums in Brownwood, Texas, and it seems like they're all open 10 a.m. Uh, to 4 p.m. I'm sorry, correct myself. The phone number here is 325-643-6376. And you can go to their website online, www.brownwoodtexas.gov backslash Linus, L-E-H-N-I-S. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, guys, admission. Free to $4. You ready? Ages 13 and over, $4. Age 60 and over, $3. Ages 5 to 12, $2. Ages four and under, free. Active duty military, free with ID. Uh, outside, mini train rides, $2 per ride. Make sure you check first. I think that's just on certain days. It might only be Saturday. Give them a call, check the website. Uh, family day is the first Saturday of the month, $2 admission. Uh, and then they have some events coming up. Uh, I guess uh, this is already past March. Wheels that move the world. June model railroad camp. Jamie, how did you miss that? Uh, July Linus. Ridiculous? Is that what that is? <laughs> Linus Ridiculous Rails. Uh, and then uh, in December, Polar Express Experience. So uh, that would be neat. I'm sorry, guys. This is a funky font. And I had a little problem with that. Okay, guys, this is uh, Museum History and Mission. The Martin and Francis Linus Railroad Museum is one of the finest railroad museums in Central Texas. Its collection of historic railroad artifacts spans from the beginning of the American railroads to present day due to the foresight and generosity of Marlin and Francis Linus as well as the hard work and dedication of the citizens of Brownwood. The Linus Railroad Museum opened its doors to the public in 2007. The museum is visited by over 7,000 rail fans from around the world each year. 
and the staff here is awesome. Everyone I met and talked to was uh, really nice. The museum is home to over 20,000 objects which are regularly rotated to display an ever-changing landscape of the railroad through photographs, artifacts, memorabilia, and information available to visitors. The Martin and Francis Linus Railroad Museum's mission is to collect, preserve, exhibit, and educate the public about the role of Brownwood, Texas in the railroad and transportation history of Texas and that of the American Southwest. And uh, the exhibits are rotated, like it said. Uh, one uh, out right now is about tracking the progress. The timeline takes you back to the days of old when transportation was the greatest problem that faced the citizens of Brownwood. Then drives you full steam ahead to the arrival of the railroad, which changed Brownwood from a struggling small town to the trade center of central Texas. Uh, number two, working on the railroad. The exhibit takes a riveting look into the lives of the men and women who spent their days working on the railroad. Examine the tools of the trade as you imagine a day in the life of these dedicated, hardworking laborers. Model trains. They have been modeled. There have been model and toy trains since the emergence of trains themselves. But in 1891, the first complete system of model trains were introduced. Different scales were invented to give greater realism through accurate to scale measurements. The Linus Railroad Museum is home to over 200 square feet of model train layouts. Watch these trains come to life and transport yourself into the incredible world of model railroading. Number four, the Iron Horse goes to war. Get a glimpse into the railroad's pivotal role during wartime. From transporting supplies and soldiers to reconnaissance missions into enemy territories. Trains were a force to be reckoned with. See how women working on and for the railroad changed women's roles in the workforce during and after the war. Gather information about Brownwood's Camp Bowie, one of the largest military training centers in Texas during World War II. Five, AT&T and SF, I'm sorry, AT and SF Caboose, Santa Fe. What is AT? I'm drawing a blank. I'm going to hear some crap about that. Venture through a 1931 Caboose. Although made of steel, it is truly a living part of a rich railroad heritage. The Caboose served many functions and was the home away from home for many crews. By the 1980 advances in technology, brought the end of the caboose. A little joke there, a little railroad joke. Pullman Superintendent's Car. Explore one of only 18 specially built business cars for division superintendents made by Pullman Palace Company in 1929. Railroad business cars were the height of comfort, efficiency, power, and prestige, and allowed the superintendents to travel the line to conduct business. Very few business cars were ever built, which makes, which makes your visit extra special. Number seven, Crest Depot. Originally built in 1914 for Crest, Texas, this building exhibits a standard design for Santa Fe stations of its era. The Crest Depot will take you back to a time when the railroad station was the hub of the community and the station master was often the first person to receive news. And what is really neat, guys, outside of the museum, they have things like this depot, which is uh, now used for the Chamber of Commerce, I believe. Kind of a city hall deal. And I'm sorry if I don't have that right. Uh, this is all within a block of uh, the museum itself. I do have to say, uh, they did tell me at the depot about the uh, train across the street. If, uh, if they didn't, I might not have known for it. It's about, it's about a block and a half away. Uh, technically, I'm sure you could see it if you're looking for it from the museum. But uh, this is awesome. I uh, really enjoyed the museum. Brownwood, Texas is awesome. Uh, Jamie sent me money for gas, uh, entrance into the museum, 
uh, paid for my lunch. Thank you very much, Jamie. These are the other uh, museums in Brownwood, and I would love to get to them next time I go through there. Brownwood was an awesome town. Go if you can. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys. Well, I finally learned something about trains. <laughs>